हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू एक्टिव क्लास यूट्यूब चैनल टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट फ्लो चार्ट इट इज़ वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ सेवन के सी टू फ्रेंड्स टूडे वी विल डिस्कस वट इज फ्लो चार्ट एंड वट इज द पर्पज ऑफ फ्लो चार्ट एंड वट इज द बेनिफिट ऑफ फ्लो चार्ट आफ्टर डैट वी विल डिस्कस हाउ टू मेक फ्लो चार्ट डाइग्राम एंड वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ सिम्बल्स सो फ्रेंड्स it is very important in manufacturing industry must watch this video till end this could be very yes. helpful to you let's start to the topic first we we will know about what is flow chart flow chart is will flow chart is visual illustration of the sequence of operation required to complete the assigned task that is called flow chart friends After that, we will know what is the purpose of using flow charts. You can see here. First point is improve work efficiency. We are using flow chart because uh, we uh, we are using flow charts. For its purpose to improve work. And the second point is reduce cycle time of the process. So the main purpose of flow chart: how to reduce the cycle time from the process. Which process is uh, extra uh, over processing, and uh, where uh, we are giving more time, so we can calculate and we can reduce the cycle from the process. And third point is potential weakness in the process made visual. If we use flow chart, we can see where the process, uh, where is the weakness in the process. Okay, friends, because we have a whole process. in front of me so we can see the process so it is easy to identify the weakness of the process so that is the purpose of using flow chart Now we will uh, know about benefits of using flow chart if we use flow charts so what is the benefit friends first point is identify process improvements if we use flow charts so we can improve process easily Okay, and second point is helps in identifying non-value and value added activities. With the help of flow charts, we can identify which process is value added activities and which process is non-value added activities. We can identify very easily. And third point, and third point is make easier to understand problem. Friends. If we use flow charts, okay. So it is easy to understand the problem. If we have a problem, so we can see the problem step by step. In which step we have a problem, and we can see the problem, and we can solve the problem easily. Friends, fourth point is understand the process. That means if we have the whole process, so we can understand and complete the task on time. friends now we will discuss about how to make flow chart diagram and what is the meaning of symbols so friends keep watching this video don't skip this video friends now we will discuss about flow chart symbols and example of process flow diagram so let's understand one by one first of all we will understand flow chart symbols you can see here there is a shape that means start and end okay when the process start you can use this symbol when the process end you can use this symbol then the start and end we can use same symbols okay friends you can see here arrow arrow or indicates the process is flowing okay and third symbol is rectangle that means Uh, operation is going on and this is also process step okay whenever is operation is going on you can use this symbol and fourth symbol is like this you can see here this is a decision box that means wherever uh, we can use this box where we have to take decision suppose we check uh, any after process we check uh, the material okay if the material is okay this material will go next process if material is not okay it will go back for the same process okay friends 
like this. You can see the symbol. It means raw material is storage. Suppose you received raw material from the supplier. So wherever you keep the raw materials, like a store room and anywhere, you have to use this symbol. Okay. And the sixth point is six symbols is triangle. This is used for finished goods storage. And after completing the process, after making your parts, you, you keep a storage room where you can dispatch where you, you where the material is ready for shipping. So you can uh, see uh, you can uh, use this symbol. Okay, friends. And D indicates delay. Wherever the process is delay, we can use this symbol. Okay, friends. So we, now we will know about process flow diagram. How to make process flow diagram? So let's start. Suppose the process is starting from here. So we are using this symbol. After that, uh, I receive from material. So we have to keep in storage room. So I use this symbol. After that, we take process the material. So we use this symbol. And after after operations, after processing on the material, just we check the material is okay or not okay. Uh, if material uh, this is a decision box. If material is okay, so material will go uh, for next operations. If material is not okay, then it will go previous operations. Okay, friends. So you can see uh, it is a decision box. After that, uh, the material is okay. Uh, it goes to next operation. And after that, you can see the symbols. Uh, it symbols indicates finished good storage. Suppose you have completed your operations and complete, uh, completed your materials. So you keep there. You use the symbols for finished good material. Okay. After that, uh, you can use this symbol for end of So friends, I hope you learned from this video how to make process flow diagram. What is the use of symbols? Friends, if you like my video, please like, subscribe my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.